Let's just adjust the sliding. Oh, we're bright. I've just painted my nails, which I realise is a very stupid thing to do when you're just about to film a video, hey? Clever move. Let's get a glass of water while it dries. I'm also not sure if I'm actually vibing this look today, but my hair was really irritating me, so I put it up and did like statement earrings. Well, not really statement, but I feel like the statement-ish. Um, to kind of go away from the fact that my hair is irritating me today. Oh, and I just fancied a glass of water instead of a cup of tea today. What is going on if you're a newbie to the channel? This is not the use. You will. Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel and another video. Today's video is going to be a haul video. Today's video is going to be a haul video. It is going to be misguided ASOS and Tommy Hill figure bought off very. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to show you guys everything I picked up. I also want to say that I do not have this spare cash slash dollar to be spending. Um, I just bought it all on Pay Later with Klarna. If you haven't checked that out, go check it out, it is amazing. It's basically this app you can get on your phone where you can buy things online and then pay after you've tried on what you wanted and decided if you want to keep or send back. So basically I bought loads of stuff of Misguided, loads of stuff of ASOS, particularly ASOS, but lots of stuff of ASOS, and then a couple of things off Ferry, which also is the same thing. It's like you can get an account on it and you buy stuff and you can send it back and then you can pay that month straight away when you decide if you want to keep it or not, or you can pay in a few months time. That's the kind of shopping I like. Um, so basically I bought loads and loads of stuff and I'm going to show you guys everything I bought, tried on and what I'm going to keep, what I'm not going to keep. There's some things I'm going to keep but most of likely I'm not going to keep it all because I haven't got that dollar in my bank account. <laughs> and that I want to be spending on clothes this month because we are going on holiday in eight days. Um, literally so excited to go on holiday. I cannot even explain to you all. You're probably sick of hearing about it, so I'm not going to talk about it loads in this video. If you are new to this channel and you don't know who I am, my name is Harriet Mills. I'm 23 years old. I don't usually have my hair in a low bum, but today I do because my hair was not going with me today. And secondly, I am 23 years old. I live on the west. I think I just said that. I live on the west coast of Scotland in a flat with my boyfriend Lou. We live very, we live about two and a half hours from most shops, but I do that. I travel there at least twice a, twice a month to go shopping because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a country bumpkin kind of gal with a city kind of shopping habit. That's how you describe me. So if you want to see more videos like that, shopping videos, vlogs, chilled out vlogs, love a vlog, um, you're in the right place. Shopping hauls, food hauls, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and if you want to see more from me go to at basically a princess because i talk rubbish on there daily <laughs> without further ado guys i'm just going to get on and show you what i picked up and hopefully these nails have dried now <sighs> yeah they're dry the first shot i'm going to start with is asos because that is where i did mainly most of my shopping the first item i picked up is this gorgeous asos kind of it's ASOS home brand, no it's not, it's a complete lie. It's Stradivarius, I can't really say that. <laughs> Sorry guys. It doesn't have a price in it, but it says medium size. I think they did it in a large size as well, but it's this basically this black, um, kind of like wefted handbag with this gorgeous like bamboo, um, kind of like bamboo wood um, handles. It is so stunning. I'm not gonna know the prices to everything, but obviously I will link everything below and then you can click on the link and see the prices of it all. Um, but it's just this gorgeous kind of like beach bag. I was kind of getting it for, for exactly just that, Harriet. A bag to have in the day on holiday. I don't take any of my expensive bags on holiday because I don't want to wreck around my handbag on the beach. So I really, really like this, but the only thing it's making me think it's not very beachy is it's it's quite, right, I'm gonna sound really stupid when I say this, but it's kind of black. Do you get what I mean? Like, mainly my beach bags are usually kind of like a beigey kind of colour, and I just feel like it looks more like a handbag you'd wear in the UK. So I think I'm gonna send this back, but then I can't decide. And I'm gonna do a whole video trying on holiday outfits um, and packing and stuff, and you'll see in that video if I decide to keep it or not. But I do think it is really nice, and if you're looking for a darker kind of beach bag, or maybe a bag to buy in, for, oh my gosh, my phone went, um, a bag to buy maybe for next summer um, in the UK. I think this is really nice, but I'm not sure it's what I was kind of looking for. Next thing I picked up from ASOS was this gorgeous um, white, this is actually an ASOS dress, um, white tasseled, like halter neck dress. It's got these gorgeous tassels right down the front. Oh my gosh, guys, I love it. I'm trying it on just now, but I'm gonna wear it with probably a black belt on holiday and some kind of wedge sandals for an evening. But it's just, I love the tasseled effect on the front. It's so super pretty with a belt. 
And you know what? I am not actually a dress kind of person. I am actually a jumpsuit and play suit kind of girl. So when I saw this, Lou was like, really? A dress? And I was like, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to try it. Um, and I just think it's really, really effortlessly kind of pretty for an evening. Um, it might even just be for the all-inclusive one night because we are going all-inclusive. But we eat out probably half of the nights that were there. So maybe this will be one just a more of a chilled night at the all-inclusive um, with some flat sandals or some wedges if I want to spice it up a bit. But I just love them tassels. I'm going to be like shaking my up all night Woo -hoo. um really really like this i think it's so cool and it's got a really nice low back as well at the back it's just kind of low and straight across um so maybe if i get them tan lines and we get a nice tan this will be coming on and also i think white looks so nice with a tan anyway doesn't it it just looks really nice with a tan May I just add, I don't even tan. I then got these gorgeous, you know, some clot black, shiny clot black, um, how many times can you say that, Harry? Gorgeous clot trousers, basically. I wanted some black ones. I'd seen them in Primark all summer for £10, didn't buy them, and then they went out of stock, obviously, and then I saw them on ASOS, more expensive, but I was desperate to get some black clots, because I think these maybe would be good for the airport, just travel with a denim jacket and some trainers. I think these look quite cool, but part of me thinks they look a bit work wary, which is making me think I might send them back because they don't look like the ones I liked in Primark. That's the thing about Primark. You see something, you think, gosh, I'm not paying that for it. I'll get it cheaper somewhere else. And then you never get it cheaper somewhere else. And then you regret it. Primark stories. So yeah, this is just a really nice clot, black clots, but I just feel like they look a tiny bit work wary. Um, they are really nice. Maybe with like a crop top or something and a denim jacket traveling. It might look very nice, but um, they're just basic black clots, really. I then picked up this rucksack, which I'm not sure it's a keep or a go. Right, it's basically just a red and leopard print um, backpack. And I was thinking, with some a denim jacket traveling, this would be perfect, because it's kind of like that lightweight material. You could almost fit quite a lot of things in it. It's got a front pocket where I could put all like the passports and stuff in as we're in and out of each section of the airport, and like our travel documents. Um, and then the inside's got lots of, let's have a see if I can get a zip. The inside's got lots of like inner pockets. You know that way, it's just got loads of like, one sec. It's got like a little pocket at the back. It's just, it's got quite a lot of space. And I was thinking this would be really good for the airport. And it doesn't really matter if I fling it around and get it marked or anything, because it was literally 15 pounds, something like that. And I do think it is really nice. I just feel like it maybe looks a little bit cheap because of the handles are in that kind of like, is it gonna focus? You know that kind of material, it's like that. I'm not sure if it looks a little bit cheap, but I'm gonna try it on with my outfit and see what I think. I just love the print on it. I love the red with the leopard print and the way it contrasts. I think it looks quite cool, but I think I'd prefer it more if it was a little bit more structured is the word, but I do like it. So that's my leopard print rucksack. As I said, anything you want to see if I keep or don't keep, it'll be in my compact with me video, which will be up next week. Then I got some mum denim shorts, some black ones. I've actually rolled them up an extra thing at the bottom because I'm five foot and a little bit tiny and they look, I'm just tiny basically in height and they looked quite long on my legs. So I just rolled them up a little bit. But I think I'm definitely gonna keep these. I do really like them. They're just high-waisted black denim shorts, but they're almost like off black because they've got kind of like, like this faded look kind of thing. And I really, really like them. They are ASOS own brand and I just think they're going to be really nice and I forgot to tell you guys the price, the, the sizes of everything, just then I just realised the clots are size 6, the dress is a size 6, everything is practically a size 6 in this haul because I am a size 6. So <laughs> these shorts are a size 6 and I, I do really like them um, so I think I'm going to keep these, I think they'll be quite flattering with a bikini top just by the pool, so yeah I like these. This is going back. You will see me trying this on in a minute, but this is a black, uh, not a black, a white Boohoo sweatshirt, which is the worst quality I think I've ever tried. My mom and my sister recently did a big haul, like a big, we bought a lot of stuff off Boohoo for the, the holiday, and oh my goodness, the quality is absolutely categorically awful. Like, I will never shop in Boohoo after seeing the quality of their clothes. Um, it's just not very good unless they up their game a bit this is a sweatshirt basically from them the i'm not sure if the color's meant to be like that but it's got this weird like one bit goes down one bit goes up can you see that at the front i just feel like the quality is just not very good it's a, just a white sweatshirt but it's just kind of almost as if it's been washed in a dark load that's the kind of vibe i get about that and that is not a vibe i want to be going for um and just don't very don't really like it if i'm honest yeah 
not vibing it one bit so you boohoo can go in the trash <laughs> joking it, is, it does feel good but for the price of it the quality is just not with it for me so i'm not vibing this i probably won't link it below because i don't recommend it i then got this gorgeous and i really like the fact that you can do wear this in two ways this boohoo um Oh my gosh, guys, I'm just dissed Boohoo and now I'm talking about Boohoo again. Okay, it's from Boohoo, I've just realised. So I'm not dissing all Boohoo things, but I do didn't like that white sweatshirt. My mum and sister haven't had a very good situation with them recently. Anyway, this is a, like a ruched kind of like crop top. I love that kind of like vibe. It's kind of like all cropped together and it's got like a little um, like floaty bit at the bottom. And the good thing about this top is you can either wear these big ties at the top and put two bows, or you can tuck them in, which I found, and just have it like really cute, delicate, like detailing over the top. I really, really like this. Um, I've actually got something very similar that I ordered from Misguided, so I'm in a sort of debate, do I keep this or send it back? Because later on in the haul, you'll see there's another item which they're very similar, and I don't think there's much point having two items hugely similar in one haul, if you know what I mean. But this is really, really nice. I just think, they're very similar to the one I'm about to show you soon. You'll have seen this one on though with the black clots and it does look nice. I also had that in a size small. Now the next thing I want to show you is something that's not overly expensive but I'm not one of them people as I stated in the beginning of the video that I don't have the spare cash to go and spend £60 on a sweatshirt. I mean I suppose I do but you get what I mean. I would prefer to prioritise on something else. But anyway, um, I saw this in the sale and it was £40, for, I think it was £40.50 or something on ASOS and it's basically a couture hoodie. Now I love the couture sweatshirts and I just love the look of them, I don't know why, I just really like them. Um, so I picked up this beige couture like cropped sweatshirt um, and I just think that with a denim jacket and some jeans would just look all like, I, just, I don't know, I just think this would look really really cool, like really cool. Um, so I really like this, it's just basically, yeah, a couture um, hoodie with a big hood, silver zip detailing. I picked it up in a size um, medium and, it's, and yeah, I just think that looks so luxurious, doesn't it? You'll see it on just now and I just don't think the camera really gives it, um, what's the word? It's not doing things with the, I just don't think the camera gives it justice how nice this is, but I really, really like this and I think this might go under my denim jacket at the airport. And it's not got fleecy lining in it, it's just like a normal thing, but I think that's quite good because you can take this on holiday with you and then you can just kind of wear it around the room in the day and then travel back in it and be cosy when you get back to the UK. Woo, that was a tongue twister Harriet. <laughs> but I really like this, really like this. I just feel like sometimes you've got to treat yourself when you be a bit serious with your monies. That is everything I picked up in ASOS and I'm gonna go on to now Misguided. So the first thing I picked up, the first thing I picked up in Misguided is this sort of two piece set. The top is basically very similar to that Boohoo one I was just telling you guys about, but this one's just a normal crop. But I think that's quite nice, this, what, this crop. This is why I'm thinking I'll get rid of the other one and keep this one because this one you can just wear with the two piece which I'm about to show you in a second or you can wear it just by itself and I think it would look really really nice just by itself with some de denim shorts and that's like a basically you can wear that in two different outfits on holiday clever pack packing situation there people actually I someone used to always say to me that when you go on holiday you should choose a color palette and then you can like mix and match clothing throughout the week and I was thinking to myself that's actually a very clever idea one I do not go by and I've never actually ever done but I think it's actually a very good idea I do wear lots of blacks in though on holiday in like denim shorts that go with nearly every t-shirt and things like that so yeah I really like this one um and it's just misguided and I got it in a uh, um size six Shot Cara, everything size six in this video. Then I got these um, shorts to go with it, same kind of thing, like a ruched material, um, and just long black floaty shorts. And the thing I like about this is you could actually wear this probably um, either in the evening with some wedged sandals, or you could wear it in in the daytime, just pottering around. Um, there's apparently a really cool market day in Gran Canaria, and I was thinking like you can look quite fancy going to the market with this and this and your sandals, your big sandals and your big sunglasses, and I think you'd look pretty funky. Next item I picked up is these grey um, joggy bottoms, which. I think they're coming to the airport with me, these. I did try some recently from, um, what time did I, where did I from? Primark. But I feel like they're more home, chill out kind of vibe one. They're my Primark haul if you want to see that. It'll be linked below. Um, these ones are great, not ribbed, not fleecy lined, just perfect for that airport vibes, going into the hot country when you get there. Um, basically they are grey, all ribbed, all the way down the front. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did I get a mark on it? No. Ooh, all the way down the front and I just like folded them up at the bottom 
Wait till you see the shoes I'm gonna wear these with. They are amazing. So these are the joggy bottoms. Just basically, you'll see it probably just now, we're wearing them with it, but I'm gonna show you in a second. Misguided, got them in a size six. And I just think they're really cool. I just think they're quite cool, tucked up at the bottom. Crop top on with them maybe, or I don't know yet, but I think they look quite cool. Next thing I picked up in Misguided is something that I didn't think I would like. And when I showed Blue, he was like, you know those, you know when men see something and they're like, and you're like, do you know what? You don't actually have a clue. Men don't have a clue about fashions. Well, not all of them, but like some guys say something about like a woman's fashion trend and they just don't get it. They just do not get sometimes the fashion trends that us women have. You know what I mean? So, saw this skirt on Misguided. And Lou thought it was a top. I'm not sure. I mean, I suppose it could be a top, but it's not a top. Um, it's basically this like ruched kind of skirt. And I just think it's really nice. On here, it doesn't look that good. But when you see me try it on in a second, you will know what I mean. It's just really nice. It's in a size six. Um, and I didn't think I would keep it. And much to Lou's dismay, I don't actually care if he doesn't like it. I actually really like it. And I think I might wear this with like a little crop top and some like heels on the night out. I don't know, I really like it, or even in the day. Um, I didn't think, I thought the print looked a bit like it was like a cow print. <laughs> I don't know, I think the, the brown was a bit too brown, if you know what I mean, when it came. I thought it would be more darker than that. But um, yeah, I actually really like this skirt and I think it's definitely gonna be a keep. I think um, it's gonna be a keep, but I think it's really nice. Um, I just feel like it's really flattering as well and I really like the material of it, I think it's lovely. I usually go for, but then all, at the end of the day, you've got to go out your comfort zone, you've just got to sometimes. Last but not least from Misguided, I bought some high-waisted bikini bottoms which are rather high-waisted and I'm not actually sure they're very flattering. I always wear like the normal, I think triangle style bikinis, like just a triangle bikini bikini top and just like the ones you tie at the waist um, but then I was like mm, maybe I was having one of them days where I was feeling a little bit self-conscious of my stomach although I've been working out and I'm like in pretty good shape for going holiday I just had one of those mornings where I was like I think I might just get a high-waisted one well let me tell you something they do not flatter me I'm just going to stick to my usual bikini because they are really high-waisted right and I haven't tried these on because they are super revealing and they are so high-waisted and um, back's just like a normal pant um, like a bikini pants and um, the front's just a normal, they're just basically pants, they're not very revealing but it just goes really up and along and I've just got like quite a small waist but then it, like, I feel like it just goes in, whoosh, out again and I really don't like that look. Maybe in a week's time when I've done some extreme more workouts before this holiday I'll be feeling better about it but I'm going to keep them for a few more days, try them on in a few more days and see if I'm going to keep them but I'm definitely not 100% on them at this precise second. I just don't think they were very flattering to my figure. I thought they would be but no they're not. I didn't look like the model, I did one of the things where I'm like oh the model looks lovely. I tried them on and I'm like fabulous. That is everything I picked up in Misguided and last but not least we're going to go on to the Tommy Hilfiger bits. So these are bits that I picked up in Very. Um, basically I picked up this Tommy Hilfiger um, like kind of like vest top but it's like a halter neck. It's got like a halter neck. I think it said it was racer back but I don't know. I feel like calling it a tank top. That was it. It's got these huge sleeves um, and just it's basically just really long and I'm just going to tie it up a little bit. Um, you might have seen a clip earlier on in this video of me wearing the denim jacket with it. It's got Tommy Sport, is it Tommy Sport? Yeah, Tommy Sport down the front. Um, it was in the sale, no way would I pay full price for a Tommy Hilfiger item and it was £17 in the sale. Which I don't think is too bad because I will wear this quite a lot and even when I'm at home after holiday, I'll wear this with some pyjama bottoms and stuff and I won't wear it out obviously, not with that gap, japers. Um, but I will wear it at home and I do think it's quite smart and you, can and you know what, you can tell the material. The material's soft, it feels lovely, it feels really, really nice material so sometimes it's nice as I said, to treat yourself. Next thing I picked up is my favourite purchase, probably from this whole haul, Tommy Hilfiger trainers. Now, they come in this gorgeous packaging. They are amazing. They are literally insane. Look at these bad boys. Okay, here we go. They are basically just white Tommy Hilfiger trainers. They've got this lace-up detail down the front, Tommy Hilfiger sign at the back, and like a holographic sort of, what's it called, iridescent print. He'll figure down the back. Now, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. This is my first designer pair of trainers I have ever bought. Um, and they were in the sale as well. As I said, I'm not one of people that will buy things full price. 
Um, but I really, really like them. They're kind of like them. Is it Fila? Fila? F-I-L-A? Um, trainers. Um, but obviously the Tommy Hilfiger, and I love Tommy Hilfiger. So I just treated myself, basically. And I really, really like I really like them. So do you know what? I'm not going to justify myself. I don't think I bought a pair of trainers. I bought a pair of trainers Reebok ones um, from eBay. On the eBay, like, returns page. Like, they've got, like, a Reebok. has got this shop they send all their, like, X stock to. So do you know what? I am not going to justify myself. Buy myself a brand new pair of trainers when I've not bought a pair of trainers for myself in how long all year right. Tommy Hilfiger trainers um, amazing amazingness of trainers and I just feel like sometimes you've got to treat yourself and I just love that big chunky kind of look they give you um, I'm going to try and wear them in a little bit before the airport, but then I'm also scared I'm going to ruin them, so I probably won't do that either. I really, really like them though, and I just think they'll be quite cool and comfy to travel in, um, and then I can put my sandals in my bag for when we get there. Um, but they've even got like little holographic bits at the front, but just look at them. Tell me in the comments, do you hate them, do you love them? In fact, I asked over on my Instagram the other day to tell me if people would like them or love them, and quite a lot of people said they didn't like them. I'm one of them people is, I don't care if you don't like them, I'm going to wear them anyway. If you don't, don't fit in with the crowd of fashion, just do what you want to do. You know, I really like these. Next item I picked up is also a Tommy Hilfiger. You know, I was going on a flipping splurge here. Um, but as I said to you guys, with this pay later with Klarna and with the very only buy what you can afford to pay back or um, what you can afford to keep. Because I obviously will go through all this and decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. And you will see it in my pack review video. But I picked up this pair. I'm going to show you one of them. Tommy Hilfiger um, sliders. These are also in the sale. Shock horror. I think they were like £30 or something. But these are something that I think I will definitely wear for a few holidays. And all throughout summer next year. But then this iridescent Tommy um, sliders. Lou's got a pair of Adidas sliders. And it's one of them things that... I always wear his sliders to even put the bins out and I always find them really comfy, it sounds random, but I find them really comfy and I think I'll find these really comfy too. So they're just iridescent Tommy and then they look navy but they're actually black. But now I'm debating are they navy or are they black. Let me know in the comments, would you say they're black or navy? Because that top's black and these are definitely more navy I think. Um, but they said navy and it said black in the description. But yeah, I just picked these all up in a size 3 because I am a size 3 and I really like these. I'll link them below though because they are super pretty. Look at that, love it. And even better, they come in a really cute box too. So that is everything guys I picked up in misguided ASOS and very slash Tommy Hilfiger stuff. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. It's gone on for a very, very long time. Probably about 20 minutes long this video unless I can seriously cut this down. Um, so if you get to this point, please put a huge love heart in the comments or just comment and tell me what your favorite item is or tell me if you're going on holiday soon. Tell me if you've had a big shopping spree soon. I'd love to chat to you all in the comments. Please don't forget to head down to the comments and have a little chat with me i love seeing what you all are up to and love seeing if you enjoyed the video or not and give it a huge thumbs up as well if you don't want to comment below because that also puts a smile on my face too don't forget to hit that subscribe button too if you don't want to do any of the other two because that would also make me smile and i'm going to stop talking now thank you so much for watching this video guys i will see you all very soon for lots and lots and lots of holiday vlogs and holiday style videos in the next 10 days and but most of october until the end of october so i really hope you guys will enjoy them and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all soon bye guys